Hi there, we're currently doing a fairy tarot card reading for the month of August 2018 and we're doing it by astrological sign. So we are working with Cancer guys and ah, I love you guys. I find you guys are just nice people and so I really click with Cancers. So um, thanks for being a Cancer, I really appreciate it. Thank you for liking these videos. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't, please do. I'm hearing celebrate good times, come on. <laughs> so obviously I need to, needed to do that. Uh, so I'm wearing this because it's uh, grounding and I feel like it's important that we understand like cleansing and uh, how gravity works in terms of if we're in our head too much, we need to draw the attention towards our feet. Um, if you're not being observant, then you could um, be, you know, missing out on an opportunity. Um, possibilities are endless, I'm hearing. So that celebrate good times, come on, is something we want to just kind of be in. All right. We want to feel like our life is thriving, that our life is good. Everything's all good, man. We just want to feel like the tension in our bodies are out ski. So we're changing it up. Maybe we're changing our career. I just feel like snapping, or snapping my finger. Just sound therapy is a beautiful thing. Shake out the energy. Move to the music, um, go swing dancing, go line dancing, things like that. We're, we're forgetting a little bit about why we're here. And it's definitely, I know it's not a walk in the park. I'm hearing it's more of a jog in the park. So um, it's a lot of work. And uh, But there's new ideas coming through for you guys. So you just pay close attention to people who are talented in the music uh, industry or anything around that because it's going to be a month for you guys where you can really feel it and so express yourself as much as you can. Um, you may have epiphanies. Again, certain people, I feel like telling people what you do. So for some reason, I feel like telling you guys that I write poetry and I've been writing poetry for, I don't know, like 15 years, something like that at least. And it's just a beautiful thing. Like I can uh, rhyme and, and sometimes freestyle. And I just feel like, you know, if you can relate to other people by through the things that you love to do, it's perfect. So it could be working out or just like in a new job or something where you're just clicking, all right? So we want to hear the click too. We want to feel it, but we want to hear it. And when we hear that click, we're going to be like, oh, yes, this is it. It's happening, all right? So reverse psychology is also coming up. Um, I think it's because I'm supposed to be talking about Mercury retrograde as well. Um, there's someone in particular who's not looking at themselves as beautiful because they may think, oh, I'm overweight, so I'm not beautiful, or, oh, I look more masculine, so I'm not elegant, things like that. So we really want to clear that stuff. Again, I think Mercury retrograde and, and stuff like people have been messing with people's minds that are maybe someone in particular watching this. So you may need a personal reading, but regardless, we're trying to unlock this through this, okay? So uh, if you feel like you have baggage too, um, I'm just not trying to burst anybody's bubbles. I think that's important that, um, you know, it's just like we don't need to, you know, waste time on things that are all like negative or ego based. So, um, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So release the tension that's like deep, deep, deep within inside of you. And that's why we get healing done. It's not so I can make money. It's so you can feel better. Eight of Swords, productivity. Someone's having an anniversary or some something along the lines of that as well. So um, I just feel like saying and we're not predicting the future as well. We're very much working with present energy. I think people are, are arguing a little bit as well. So we'll work with like the first week of August here. But there's creativity around being clairvoyant 
as well. So I feel like if you're a person who is very visual and you get visions, then really follow through and succeed around that because it's important that you're connecting to even your tone. So that's been coming up in people's readings as well. So shifting, you know, our own vibration through the power of sound. So if I talk like this, are you gonna like it? Or if I talk like this, does that change my demeanor? So just those little things. Um, I'm just hearing so many ego things. It's like I'm hearing negative voices coming in and I feel like you guys are not understanding that that is just ego and you just need to learn how to release that so you can tap more into your, your stuff. And if you're hanging out around like logical people and that sort of thing and they're telling you that you're crazy for being like an intuitive then that's not going to make you feel good right so we want to kind of hang out in energies that are very positive and even polite a little more fun maybe you share music is a common thing that sort of thing so first week music 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 Two of Pentacles, and with people too, it may be getting out and socializing, right? Two of Pentacles, this is talking about fresh produce, um, growing your own food, um, anything creative around food. Highly recommend doing that. Um, just, it's going to make you feel different in your environment, in your body. So working out may be another thing. Um, just forgive yourself, be kind to yourself, like treat your body really nicely the second week of August, Queen of Pentacles. And again, this is just general, right? So Queen of Pentacles is saying, uh, just again, all these like negative thoughts. And it's like, why are you feeling so negative? So third week, you're going to find that um, balancing the emotions is really important. We probably have a full moon around that time. Um, we will be in like a Leo, uh, we think we have a solar eclipse on... August 11th in Leo as well. So we have some intense energies happening. So that's where it's going to kind of build up if we don't uh, get rid of some of the mess I'm hearing. So look at your body as like maybe having a mess and you need to clean it up. All right. So fixate no longer because, um, you know, I'm coming through. That's the kind of thing. It's like, I'm not going to have time to worry and time to stress because I'm just going to start doing the things I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing. Does that make sense? Um, somebody needs Reiki healing as well. I'm getting a strong burning sensation in my hands. So you can feel free to contact me for that. I do distant healing. It is just as effective. People um, really, I find struggle with the idea of Reiki healing when it is extremely effective, okay, through distant. King of Pentacles, this is brilliant new ideas I'm hearing. So the, the fourth week of August is probably going to be your favorite. And same, same with the other signs as well. So there's like, yes, negativity, but it's more about um, can I collect myself and, and get together with other people and just like join in and just enjoy it. So joy and join in, join in to the joy, um, yeah, lightheartedness, like laughter, um, it, again, not making a big deal out of like very little things, um, you know, there's just someone who I think really has a bit of a crushed self-esteem, we'll say, and it's because something that some it's something that somebody else said to you, but doesn't mean that it's true. So that's where some reverse psychology stuff is coming up because we need to um, literally reverse the things that people have said to us and we're going to build ourselves back up. Okay, so if that means you want to work out and feel better about your body, do that. We want to flourish and we want to grow, but we also want to glow. So the second week is going to, you know, indicate how you're going to feel in the fourth week. Of course, makes sense. So I feel like teasing people and that sort of thing is also positive when we're just like cracking jokes, that sort of thing. Um, but offering people like kind, like kindness will be really helpful as, as well, like a kind compliment or, or whatnot. It's going to be like a time for you guys that is worth celebrating, but it's time to really just get on top of the things that, you know, make you feel really good, okay? So um, don't deny yourself of anything that, that will indeed make you feel good. All right, I love you guys so much. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.